What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and on today's episode of Thirsty Thursday we are going to taste a beer inspired by a drink from Bermuda. Whew. Thirsty Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. Rusty Rail, Mutiny and, and <laughs> Mutiny and Regret. No regrets. Um, this one was given to us by our buddy Zach of the Bent Rim Podcast. And from his local brewery Sometime. in Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania. So brewery started like 2013. They make a bunch of stuff. Um, you can get their beers in Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, and I think New York. Very common in um, most of our yeah. liquor stores around here. Yeah. So, and this is a um, rum barrel aged with ginger. Jamaican black rum barrel aged. Sounds so interesting. It's supposed to, it's inspired by the Dark and Stormy, which is a drink from Bermuda that is done, the original is done with um, Bermuda Gosling's dark rum and ginger beer. I just want the viewers to know that you selected this 9.8% IPA, so. um, 15 IBUs though, so. We'll, we'll tuck you in when we're done here. Woo, all right. Let's get to it. Let's get it open. That sounds nice. Mm. Interesting. Woo, so what's up? Kind of golden. Mm. No, not too dark. Oh boy, huh? Well, it smells like rum. Wow, it does smell like rum. It smells like rum and booze. It smells like a dark and stormy. From it, what I remember on the cruise. It, it, it kind of does, actually. You're getting that ginger on the nose, mm -hmm. definitely. Absolutely. Wow, that's kind of interesting. Hmm. Bottoms up. Cheers. I'll be damned. It's too malty for you. No, it's just, no? It tastes like alcohol. It does taste like alcohol and it tastes like a dark and stormy. Yeah. To some extent, yeah. Um, super malty, a little sweet to me. It is sweet. Uh, top characteristics are probably just enough in there to not make it cloyingly sweet. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know? yeah, you're not, it's not bitter. It is, it is what it is built as. It is, there is rum. Definitely barrel aged. Um, it does have that barrel age kind of complexity yeah. to it. And uh, you're getting Ooh. the ginger in the face. A lot of ginger. <laughs> a lot of ginger in the face, and then, then a lot of an alcohol after. vibe mm -hmm. as it goes down. And yeah, aftertaste. Mm. So, hmm. I, I could do it. I could do it out the, you know, like the alcohol. It's like that that strong bit, but I like the ginger up front. I, li I like it up front. I don't, the finish is kind of like meh. Finish just gives you a real. Like fin I'm just sipping on rum vibe. The finish is, uh, let me tell you, 9.8%, but it drinks stronger. Yeah, it drinks like right? 11, 12. Really, it drinks stronger. Um, I dig the label, got the pirate ship and the skull, got the whole... Rusty uh, Rail does a good job with your labels, dude. Yeah. Pretty mm -hmm. entertaining. It's got the skeleton yeah. in the sky. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool label. Um, definitely should be able to pick this up if you're in Jersey. PA, Maryland, Delaware. Yeah. It's uh It's rocking. Would you sit man. and drink this? Like would you buy this again? Um Hmm. I need chips. I'm serious. Cause I, I you need something salty with this. O almost to like uh, uh, like pretzels. You, you you if you had something I could probably drink a lot of these if I had, you know, something to kind of counteract that sweetness. Some nuts. Some mm -hmm. salt. Tea nuts. Yep. Hmm. All right. 
That might change. Yeah, I mean, I, I would drink this just to get banged up. Because you drink a four pack of this and you're probably going to be banged up. To say the least. <laughs> oh, this is one of those crap beers where you see your buddies show up, you know, with their, their 20 pack or, or their, their 24 pack of Coors Light and you show up with uh, a four pack of, you know, mutiny and regret at 9.8%. And you're more banged up than they are in two hours. I, I mean, that's... <laughs> Why does craft beer cost so much? Well, it's 9.8%. It's I don't not need, the tastiest thing ever. I don't need to drink uh, 20 cans. True. Um, well, so because it's not hoppy, but I'm glad it's not hoppy. And yeah, I wouldn't want it to be hoppy. You know, it is It is malty, and I feel like when you, you're used to like that hop complexity... You don't always, uh, multi beers I feel like aren't the, always on the same plane. The more you drink of it, the less potent the ginger is. Yes. But smelling, man, it's like, wow. It smells, it smells just like a dark and stormy. Mm -hmm. It's a good smell. It just really finishes with a very, very... Boof. Like I'm doing rum shots or something, or I don't even yeah. know. It's straight rum. Mm -hmm. Might surprise you though, but I think this is like a three, probably like a three five for me. Three seven five, three five. That's what you're giving it, huh? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm not in love. Uh, a little, it's a little niche. Um, but it's good. I'm probably at three and a quarter. Yeah. Okay. Uh, again, if I'm drinking this, I'm just trying to get a quick buzz. <laughs> Yeah. I don't see myself sitting around just sipping on this, like loving the flavor and just enjoying it. But again, I feel like if you had something that was salty, um, change the game a little bit, it, it would, it would change the game. And I think that's an aspect of beer that a lot of people miss. Yeah. So three, two, five on untapped. You're a three, five, three, five mutiny and regret rusty rail brewing rum barrel age, with ginger. It does not disappoint. That's exactly what it is. No, they're 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 on the money, and it's uh, like you said. It, it definitely definitely drinks stronger than the nine eight that they say it is. That they say it but, is. Uh, <laughs> it's not. It's not terrible. You know, it's not like I, we've had worse. No. Um, just not really my thing. I think the uh, sweet beers don't go over always as well with us, and that's uh, that 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 is what it is. But. I do like the flavors that are there. I like the fact that they said, hey, this is inspired by Dark and Stormy, and this is our effort putting forth inspired by Dark and Stormy. And they hit the mark. And that is, they hit the mark, yeah. so kudos. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times they say, it tastes like this, or it's this, or it's that, and it's, you're like, no, no it's, it's not. It's so number close. Even for you, if you watch these, you've seen us, we've run into those, so they really did hit the mark on that, For so that, mm -hmm. you know, props for that but yeah not in love mm -hmm. and again i've had rust plenty of rusty rail beers that i do enjoy so yeah, yeah. and maybe we'll do another one down the line but yeah mm -hmm. that's the review awesome all right well listen <laughs> if you like this one hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up ring the bell so that you know when we upload new videos that's right Leave and a comment. Uh, have you ever had a dark and stormy mm -hmm. let us or, know or have you had uh have you had mutiny or regret? Also, right. let us know. Well, we will see you on the next one, guys. Later. Later.